Hello and welcome to this edition of On the Scene. I'm your host, Frank Poulin, and today we're going to talk about the tastiest week Suffolk has to offer, and that's Restaurant Week. And a little later, we're going to talk about other events the Department of Tourism has to offer. So while we're here on the beautiful terrace of the Vintage Tavern, let's go inside and talk to some folks about this great week, Restaurant Week. Join me. Welcome back. We're here now with Katie Kelly, Tourism Development Specialist for the City of Suffolk, and Elizabeth Yasek, General Manager of the Vintage Tavern. Thanks for joining me, ladies. Thank you. Now, let's start with you, Katie. We're going to talk a little bit about, just kind of explain what Restaurant Week is and, you know, who participates and how people can get involved. Okay. Um, Restaurant Week has actually been going for about uh, seven or eight years now, and um, it's a really popular week where, um, you know, several restaurants in the Suffolk area um, offer price fix menus for um, a Saturday to a Saturday time period. Okay. Um, and it's it's basically a great way for folks to get out, and maybe try a restaurant that they've never tried before. Mm -hmm. um, they don't need to have any tickets or um, cards or vouchers or anything like that. Okay. Um, they just come in and order off the Suffolk restaurant menu. Oh, great. So now when you say a fixed menu, can you kind of explain what that is sure. price-wise? and Yeah, um, the restaurants when they sign up for the um, promotion have the opportunity to decide whether they would like to do um, the premier level, which is $15 for lunch or $30 for dinner. Okay. Uh, or they can do the deluxe level, which is $10 for lunch and $20 for dinner. Okay. Um, and what that entails is basically um, an entree, I'm sorry, an, an appetizer, an entree, and generally a dessert. Oh, wow. Um, so, it's so it's a kind three, of a three-course meal. It's a three-course three meal for, for a great price. Wow, that is so, a great price. Yes, yes. Okay. Now, uh, are they just stuck to the fixed menu, or can they try other things? Because I know some people like to go back multiple times. The food's great. Right. I like to go back to a restaurant again. Sure, and that's and that's the main purpose of Restaurant Week is mm -hmm. to try and get um, folks who have maybe not tried some of these restaurants to come out and you know try one. Yeah. So, you know, that sounds good. I'd like to give that a shot. Um, but once they come into the restaurant, if they take a look at the Restaurant Week menu mm -hmm. and they're not sure they want to try some of those, um, they're more than welcome to order off the regular menu. So it's not, um, you know, they're not completely stuck on, on, on doing just the Restaurant Week menu. Okay. So. Now, now, Elizabeth, your restaurant has joined in this in the past, correct? We have, yes, sir. And how has that fared for you guys? It's an excellent opportunity for folks that haven't tried us before, like Katie was saying, to come in and see what the restaurant's all about, mm -hmm. how beautiful it is, how creative the chefs are, how friendly and and. Fantastic fantastic my staff is. Yeah, and uh, now when they when you get first time diners, what kind of experience can they kind of get? You know, a lot of the folks that come in here, it's a special occasion. Mm -hmm. I think we're one of those restaurants that people come in for birthdays, for anniversaries, for graduations. So we're above the top as far as ex excellent service, just superior from start to finish. We want to be southern hospitality, but that the, be the best level as far as fine dining goes. Okay, and, and now this, as you mentioned, this restaurant is not just going to participate in Restaurant Week and that's it. It goes year round. You have other, you host like events or parties, things like that? We do. We actually have um, a wine tasting coming up in April called okay. Deconstructing Bordeaux. It's going to be a, sort of an educational wine tasting okay. with paired dinner courses to help teach people about Bordeaux. Mm -hmm. um, we also have a beer tasting coming up around Father's Day for June. Great opportunity to bring dad in for dinner. And then big, most recent, or the most current one is our Pork and Pino event. It's our birthday celebration, eight years. The restaurant's been here. It's kind of a big party for everyone to come in and enjoy our food. Oh, wow, that sounds great. Yeah, it's an all-day Sunday event, three to seven, live music, all sorts of great food and wine. It's a, a really good time for everyone. Oh, sounds like a great time. I might show up myself. You should. You definitely should. <laughs> now, 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 how long has Restaurant Week been going on? Uh, I want to say it's been um, somewhere between seven and eight years. Okay. Um, it, it's before my lifetime with the tourism department. Okay. Um, but uh, when I came on board, it was already sort of a, a well finely tuned machine, mm -hmm. and it's just taken off in the last couple of years. Um, we have anywhere from you know as few as eight restaurants to as many as sixteen at one point. So, oh wow. Um, it kind of depends on what um, you know what folks feel like at that moment. You know, mm -hmm. most of the restaurants that participate do it each of our um, times, and we have it twice a year. Okay. Uh, we do it in the spring, and then we also do it in um, in the fall for our encore because it was so popular that we wanted to expand it. Oh, great! Um, so there's also a, um, a fall one coming up in in the fall. <laughs> okay. So we have that in November. Yeah. So. And no, no. What are the exact dates of this one? This one, the spring edition, which is our main culinary showcase, mm -hmm. is going to be March 15th through the 22nd. Um, of 2014, okay. so it's just a couple of weeks away. Oh, wow. um, and what we'll do is we'll, um, as the restaurants sign up, uh, we put details on our website, which mm -hmm. is um, www.suffolk-fun.com. Okay. Um, 
And then we also put it on our Facebook site, which is oh, uh, Suffolk Restaurant Week. So, so people, if they want to find yes. out, they can go to your website, go to the Facebook page, and they can find menus, they can find times, yes. dates, participating restaurants. Yes, and a lot of what we do is, in fact, we just had one sign up today um, who have a particular dress code for their um, okay. establishment. Um, so we'll put that on the website as well so that folks know kind of what to expect yeah. when they get there. Um, if reservations are required. Mm -hmm. um, most places do not require a reservation. Okay. Um, some do. Mm -hmm. um, I think Vintage does. Is that correct? Well, it's highly recommended, definitely, okay. because it's a big week for us sure. to get a, a huge influx of, of guests through Restaurant Week. Right. So, I mean, it's, it's a great deal for everybody to come in, and it's, it's kind of a time for the chefs to, you know, put their best foot forward and try out some new dishes. Absolutely. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's, you can't go wrong. I've never had a bad meal during Suffolk Restaurant Week. So, <laughs> That's excellent. Um, yes. <laughs> now, now, this year I know there's something a little different yes. you guys are doing. Yes. Uh, there's, a, there's a contest I'm hearing? Yes. Uh, we have actually partnered with um, Healthy People, Healthy Suffolk, okay. uh, with a grant through the OBC Healthcare Foundation. Um, and they're going to be sponsoring a um, healthy dessert contest. Um, and the restaurants who want to participate, and it's not a requirement, they don't have to if they okay. don't want to, um, but the Suffolk uh, restaurants that want to participate um, can be part of this contest and they basically put in um, their menu a um, healthy dessert okay. that is going to be judged. Um, I think the, t the judge's prize is $2,000 to the restaurant. Oh, wow. Um, the best presentation, I think, is 1500 and then there's a people's choice, which is the folks who come and eat, um, and that's $1,000. So people can actually vote on which oh, yes. dessert they like yeah, the best, fact, and there's a prize for it. I'm fairly certain that it's going to be on Facebook, because that, that's how we're doing the voting, but okay. again, that, those details will, are still being kind of firmed up at this point. Okay. Um, but, you know, it's, it's just a, um, it's a great way for um, restaurants to try out some healthy options. Absolutely, you know? and that's a huge kick right now is the health thing. It really is, and there's a lot of folks in the area. And for good reason. Yes, <laughs> yes. A lot of folks have diabetes or, yeah. you know, some type of a health issue that, you know, may not be able to try something on the menu. Yeah, and certainly a great prize, too, yes, for the yes. restaurants so, to go after. So far, we're hearing that the restaurants are very excited about it. So, so, so um, Elizabeth, well, what type of experience would you want people to come away with for the first, if they were a first-time visitor to Vintage Tavern, what, what would you want them stepping away with? I want them to be wowed, not just <laughs> by the creativity of the chefs, but the friendliness of the staff and, and the overall coziness of the restaurant. Yeah, this, is, this is a great restaurant and a great spot, so you've got great Beautiful outdoor location. space. Yeah, it's a gorgeous patio out back. We, we've done a few weddings outside. Have you really? Yeah, it's amazing. Okay. Well, that, that's, that's absolutely awesome. When I stepped in here, it was... It blew me away, just the decor of the place. Yeah. Now, now are, you know, do you need, as you said, do you highly recommend reservations? Yes. What would be like a number that they could call or a website to go to that they could accomplish that? Well, we, we work with Open Table as well, so they okay. can always go through opentable.com to make reservations. But the phone number here at the restaurant is 757-238-8808. Okay, great. So, Katie, just to recap, people are interested in joining for Restaurant Week. Where would they go to find out more information? Uh, they can actually call me at the uh, Suffolk Visitor Center. Uh, my number um, is 757-514-4131. Uh, they can log on to uh, www.suffolk-fun.com. Um, you can also find us on the Facebook uh, page, which is Suffolk Restaurant Week. Um, and we're going to be doing a lot of advertising coming okay. up um, soon. So we've got, um, you know, bus ads coming out. Um, oh, well, we're going to be doing a, um, a, a, a banner ad up on the highway, up by the High Rise Bridge. And I hope people on Hampton Roads wait for this. That's, so. <laughs> I know they do. So, um, so I think it's going to be a, it's going to be a really great one this time, and especially with the new um, edition of the dessert contest. I'm, I have high hopes for this particular one. Absolutely. So. Well, thank you very much, Katie. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you. And thank you, folks, and uh, definitely go online to search out Restaurant Week. I know I will certainly be partaking. And we're here now with Kenny Reynolds, executive chef of the Vintage Tavern. Kenny, thanks for joining us. No problem. Now, how long have you been here at the Vintage Tavern? Um, I'll be here, it'll be eight years in February. Oh, wow. And what's kind of your background that led you into cooking? Um, I grew up in South Central Virginia on a farm. Um, we raised animals and 16-acre farm, grew all of our own vegetables. Oh, wow. And I uh, decided to go to culinary school in Norfolk. And then when uh, Brian and Teresa decided to open the Vintage Tavern, I thought it fit my bill just perfect. Well, excellent. Now, is this your first go round with uh, Restaurant Week, or have you kind of planned uh, <laughs> the menu prior to? No, we've uh, we've been doing Restaurant Week as long as Suffolk's been doing Restaurant okay. Week, and um, yeah, so we do it twice a year mm -hmm. in the fall and right before spring, and um, yeah, it's a good time. It's okay, and then now. I know you haven't planned your full menu just yet, but what kind of offerings generally do you try to put on that menu to kind of entice first-time visitors to come back? Well, we do like a scaled-down version of our pimento cheese appetizer. Um, 
the normal pimento cheese usually serves, you know, a full table mm -hmm. of about four to five people. Okay. Um, we'll do a scaled down version of that to serve enough for one, possibly two people. That'll be an offering. Okay. We usually offer a soup, um, a salad, and then three different types of entrees. Um, being a southern restaurant, we always want to hit some pork in there. Okay. Um, you know, and everyone likes, loves steak, so we'll do uh, some sort of beef option and then a seafood option, of course, being on the coast. Okay, and, and now since you mentioned you're kind of a southern styled restaurant, how, do, how does your food, how, how do you kind of take that southern and spin it? Well, I mean, I, I like to think that we have take, taken grandma's old recipes and just made them a little bit better. Okay. Not extremely better, you know, but um, taking old world stuff, you know, spoon bread, um, things like collard greens and ribs, and just doing them a little bit better, adding a little bit more flavor than uh, what um, might have been in the past, you know, so. Now being in this area with farms and of course the ocean and the bay so close, you got used a lot of fresh like natural ingredients from Virginia or? Yeah, definitely. We try to source as much as possible locally. Um, we can branch out regionally. Mm -hmm. um, I think even reaching all the way far down as to Florida and oh, wow. even as far as like Pennsylvania. Okay. Um, I think that still uh, satisfies what we, we try to do here. Mm -hmm. um, of course you can't get everything local, but as much as we can get local, we do so. Okay, now now outside of the restaurant week menu, what are some of your like signature dishes, that things you kind of want to be known for or are known for? Um, we have a Taste of Southern Goodness plate, which encompasses like um, homemade sausages, um, a daily spread of some sort, sometimes it's uh, ham salad, you okay. know, or um, today we're actually on the back gonna be working on some smoked bluefish salad. Oh wow. Um, homemade pickles. Um, Edwards country ham from from Surrey, um, uh, a daily jelly. You know we make jellies all the time. Right now we're into uh, smoked apple jelly right now. Huh. And as the season goes on, we'll change those items depending on what the season is. Okay. Now do you kind of outsource those, or do you make those in house? And we how? make everything in house. Okay, and how do, how would you kind of make one of those apricot jellies? I've never. Well, I mean, uh, you use pectin, sugar, and whatever fruit. Uh, you know, juice. I don't or, want to give away your, re your or recipes solid. or anything, but you know, a, a friend of mine always <laughs> told me. He said, "I can give you the recipe, but I can't teach you how to stir the pot." There we so, go. So you know, yeah. that's what I always think about when we're when we're divulging all of our information. Yeah. You know, um, but basically, you just take sugar, some sort of fruit, and pectin, and you uh, you cook them. You know, at certain stages, you want to get to a certain temperature, and once it reaches the setting point, mm -hmm. you're done. You know, skim that little film off the top and okay. let it set up. Now, and I know you've also kind of hosted weddings and stuff here. What, what, what kind of menus do you kind of prepare for that? You know, most time with weddings, you know, you don't want to go too crazy with mm -hmm. the menu. You know, a lot of people, you want to make it, um, you know, for a lack of better words, vanilla. That way, you know, beef tenderloin, everyone likes beef tenderloin. Mm -hmm. You know, everyone likes um, some sort of seafood. So we usually reach a flounder or, um, you know, or a shrimp and grits or maybe a dual plate of tenderloin and shrimp mm -hmm. or when it's crab season tenderloin and crab cake or okay. something like that now i know like in you know correct me if i'm wrong some chefs had that dish that you know want they wanted to be a chef because of that dish <laughs> did you have that well growing up my grandma cooked every day she still makes biscuits every morning she and, really? yeah well, and she's pretty much in the house by herself now so okay. there's one other person that's there but she still makes biscuits every day my mom was a chef um, my dad owned restaurants, okay. so I was kind of just kind of born into it. Yeah. But growing up on the farm, just seeing um, food come from the farm to the table, um, that just kind of inspired me to do what I do. Okay, what would you say your signature dish here is? Oh, here? Oh, gosh. Um, I mean, the pimento cheese has never gone away. You okay. know, everybody loves that, but it is an appetizer. Um, over the last like 18 to 24 months, we've kind of evolved a little bit and tried to progress past some of the things we started with. Okay. But I think um, our flounder dish is great. Our ribs have always been on the menu. We smoke those in house. Mm -hmm. um, the pork chop. Um, sometimes the accompaniments might change, and okay. definitely the spoon bread. That's just <laughs> something that always people always love the spoon bread. So. <laughs> now, now, what kind of sides do you generally serve with those entrees? Sides. Um, like right now, we're doing Brussels sprouts. Okay with the pork and um, the spoon bread with the pork with a little sorghum mustard sauce. Um, sorghum's a very southern ingredient. It's okay. kind of like a cane syrup. Um, let's see, with the tenderloin, um, sometimes we do mashed potatoes, roast potatoes. Um, we like to do Carolina red rice okay. um, with like using tomato juice to make the rice red. Um, I like to say we use a lot of grits. Okay. You know, and we get our grits from bird mills, which is right up in Northern Virginia. 
Um, and I've had the uh, shrimp and grits here. It's excellent. It's great. Yeah, 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 it's a great dish. And whenever you try to take that dish off, people are like, <laughs> where'd it where, go? Where'd the shrimp yeah. and grits go, you know? Now, now, for first time visitors here, a lot of their exposure is going to be restaurant week and the kind of the pared down mm -hmm. setting. What would you kind of want them to walk away with that experience and say to their friends? I mean, I've always thought of this place as uh, my second home. You know, mm -hmm. I spend a lot more time here than I usually do at my own house. So um, when people come here, I want them to feel like when they left, they just came to my house and they had a great meal. They had a great experience, you know, and we welcome everybody to our home and we welcome you back again to our home. You know, so when you leave here, I want you to go back, tell your friends like, man, that was a great party we went to last night because every night we feel like we're hosting a party. Yeah. And I know definitely this is going to be a hot destination for a lot of people during restaurant week because you do have those price points that are excellent. Right. Now, now, how I know they can make reservations online if they want to. Is there a web address they can go yeah, to? Yeah, you can also go to www.vintagetavernvirginia, no, spelled out, dot com. All right, vintagetavernvirginia.com. Yeah, Virginia okay. being spelled out. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Well, you heard it here first. This is uh, We're here with Kenny Reynolds at the Vintage Tavern. He sounds like he's preparing an excellent menu for you for this restaurant week. And we'll be back right after this. We're here again with Katie Kelly, Tourism Development Specialist. And we're going to talk a little bit about now, I know Restaurant Week starts March 15th. Mm -hmm. And there's also another event going on that day. Yes, we actually have our third annual Shamrock Stroll that weekend. Okay, and what does that kind of entail? Uh, it actually is a, um, it's a way for folks to kind of find our Love Local um, initiative that we've got going on. Mm -hmm. um, you know, go downtown and spend some money. Okay. Um, you know, we've got some um, great restaurants down there mm -hmm. not, who might not even be doing restaurant week, but yeah. are still open for regular business. Um, but we also have um, shops open. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I know for a fact that Barron's Tavern or Barron's Pub, excuse me, is planning on doing green beer again this year for oh, Shamrock. Great. Yes, that's always um, fun. Yes, it's always crowd, a good time. Crowd pleaser. Always a crowd pleaser. So um, it's it's just a great way for folks to kind of get downtown. Um, you know, with the with the terrible weather that we've been experiencing mm -hmm. the past month or so. You guys close the streets um, off? Or we don't. Does that work? It's okay. it's it's just basically um, trying to remind folks to you know come down where you can. Yeah. Um, there's lots to offer downtown. There really is. is. Yeah. Yeah, we have a lot of um, great offerings down there, mm. um, from C3 Vino to All About Virginia to Shooting Star Gallery. Mm. Um, you can go get a suit made over at Richardson and Nash Clothiers. Um, you know, we've got everything you need. You can even have a, a fitness class over at C-Fit. So, yes. um, you know, it's a great way to kind of, you know, see what the places are open downtown. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them will be offering special special deals. Um, some will be doing and It's uh, kind of like for the family. And yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It's, um, it, it, there's no set... Um, event set up, mm -hmm. you know, there's no parade or anything like that, but um, it's a great way for folks to come down and, you know, maybe get 10% off at a certain spot, um, maybe do a cupcake workshop over at Plaid Turnip. Oh, that sounds um, fun. Yeah. Um, so, and again, we're still getting all the details in from who is participating, mm -hmm. um, but the last couple of years has been pretty successful for us. When well, it's Saturday, so all the shops are going to be open anyway. Exactly. Yeah. So you might as well come down and see what kind of offerings they might have that are a little bit special for you. Yeah. So, yeah. So it's great. Now, now, does the day culminate in anything? Or? We do. Um, yeah. <laughs> As if Suffolk Restaurant Week and Shamrock Stroll were not enough, <laughs> oh. um, Suffolk Tourism has actually decided to expand our very popular movie night um, to the spring. Okay. Uh, normally we A do lot them, of people have been asking for Yes. That. Yes. We normally do them in the fall, um, uh, generally towards the late end of the f uh, period of the fall. Um, and this time we've decided to try one in the spring and okay. see how, you know, the weather does it'll work, work. it always that's, does that's what we're hoping so um this year we're going to be doing um also on the 15th okay um at six o'clock um people can bring their families down to the pavilion uh, which is located right behind the suffolk visitor center okay um and uh we're going to be showing cloudy with a chance of meatballs too oh great okay which is um i'm told spectacular fun film yeah fun fun, good fun. reviews yes yeah. very very good reviews ah. Um, and at 6 o'clock, what we do is we have um, a lot of crafts. And, um, so it's not just the movie. You're not no. just coming, sitting down, watching the film. You can do that if you'd like. Okay. Um, but it, especially for those that are bringing their kids, um, we do have crafts set up, um, you know, coloring, um, things that they can make that they can take with them. Um, we also will have snacks for purchases um, okay. that we, the proceeds will be going to Relay for Life. Oh, that's um, awesome. Yeah. And then, you know, the movie starts at 6.30, and, you know, you're out of there by 8.15, 8.30. Hopefully the weather will be great, but we provide seating. And okay. if it's a chilly night, just bring a blanket with you. And um, it's a fun night. Everybody yeah. always seems to have a really Definitely. good time. You get there and do some activities, watch a movie. Completely free. And that's the best part yes. right there. Yes. So, so it is really a full day yes. of events sort of with Sam Rock Stroll. You yes. can come down, start in the afternoon, mm -hmm. have 
a good premiere lunch mm -hmm. and then go see the film yep. and then have a deluxe dinner. You can do that if you'd like. You yeah. can really, I, I, I caution you though, you're going to be full. Okay. So, well. um, it, could, it could really be a, a, great, a great time for everybody. So, and, and, uh, and, and how do they figure this thing out? How do they go online, find out more information? We actually have, um, as I said, we are still um, getting registrations yes. in for Shamrock Stroll, um, but we will have uh, the information put up on our website, which is suffolk-fun.com. Mm -hmm. Um, and we also will be putting it on our Love Local uh, Facebook page, which is Love Local by Suffolk. Okay. Um, and we'll have links on our main tourism This site. is the third year you said you've done it. Third year in a row. So, so how has um, participation been in the past? Pretty good. Last year we were a little bit, um, you know, it was not the greatest weather in the world. Okay. So... It's always yeah. that March, that fun. It's, it's a tough time. You can get 70 degree weather and sunny, or you can get and tornadoes. And last year we or had we storms. had some we had some ugly weather in the morning, and I Did think you? it kind okay. of you know. But we it, it went pretty well. Yeah. And I think the great thing about the movie is is that because it's in a covered pavilion, I mm -hmm. mean, even if it's pouring down rain, you'll be completely covered. Okay. And one of the movies that we did last fall, it was pouring down rain that night, and it actually made it more fun. Did it really? Yeah, everybody was just sort of like a, a sense of camaraderie, and we had a really good time. Nice so, community. Kind yeah, of it movie was great. Yeah, it was the a, rain. Even people even people even dress up. So I mean, oh, you know, really? oh yeah. So people, you know, it's a really fun night for everybody. Well, it is uh, March fifteenth, so it's, you wear green. Or you can do whatever you like. You, we will take anybody. <laughs> With the green beer. So. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So it should be a lot of fun for everybody. Well, so. excellent. Well, thank you very much for that thank information, you. and definitely at home, book out the calendars for March fifteenth through 22nd, March 15th, especially for Sam Rock Stroll, and the whole week for Restaurant Week. Thanks for joining us. This was this edition of On the Scene.